Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks. And today we're going to do a quick comparison video between the Redmi Note 10 by Xiaomi compared to the Redmi Note 10 5G by Xiaomi. That 5G seems to be the key differentiator in the name, but there's a lot more to it than just a 5G. If you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. Right then, so we have these two devices. The green one here on the left is the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10, and the gray one on the right is the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 5G. So what's the key differences? They look very similar. They have glastic bags, admittedly with different finishes. The Redmi Note 10 has more of a glossy finish with a gradient color, which I really quite enjoy. It does look really cool, but what I would say is I do have this in a case most of the time, so I don't get to see that. And if you haven't already, we have a few videos for the Redmi Note 10 cases that we purchased here on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. Whereas the Redmi Note 10 5G is more of a sort of glastic, like the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE. It's more of a matte finish, it's got that sort of depthy effect, but it is uh, more subtle and more importantly, it's more gray. So in terms of looks, they look very similar. And if you look at them in portrait, you can see that the Redmi Note 10 just has Redmi on the back of it, whereas the Redmi Note 10 5G has that Redmi 5G. Right then, enough about branding and looks. What's the key things that we have here? Both of them have side-mounted fingerprint scanners, but there's a difference. The Redmi Note 10 5G has a slightly recessed one, similar to what we've been seeing since the Redmi Note 9 series last year. And ergonomically, it's really easy to get to, and it's in a way differentiates itself from the volume rocker. And so that's what you get on the 5G model. Whereas the Redmi Note 10, amusingly, doesn't have a recessed fingerprint scanner power button, but it's just like a normal one. Um, it is different between the two, but just interesting to know that that is a, quite a difference between the two devices. Now, looking at the screens, and I might struggle to get a white screen here to show you the selfie notch, Oh, that's pretty simple. So you can see here that both screens uh, have a selfie dotch at the top uh, in the center of the panel. But you might notice that another key thing that's happening here is that the bezels are slightly different. So the Redmi Note 10 the standard one on my left seems to have slimmer bezels compared to the Redmi Note 10 5G. Not only that, there's a screen difference size. So there's a, uh, the Redmi Note 10, the standard one, has a full HD plus display. And in this case, it's a 6.4 inch diagonal screen, technically 6.43 inches. Whereas the Redmi Note 10 5G has a 6.5 inch screen. So marginally bigger screen uh, with bigger bezels. The reason for the bigger bezels is quite simple. These two phones, uh, you can't really tell even having them side by side, have very different technology screens. The Redmi Note 10, the basic one, has an AMOLED screen or an OLED screen. Uh, this is a really quite impressive display. Uh, it is Full HD+, plus, as I said, so great for consuming video content. Whereas the Redmi Note 10 5G has an LCD screen, which is a very good one, with a 90 hertz refresh rate. So difference there, some people find one more important than the other, but realistically, unless you have them side by side, and even when you do, you might not notice that difference in, uh, in screen technology, and more importantly, in uh, the sizes of the phones. Just the Redmi Note 10 is slightly smaller. So that's from the outward appearance at the front. Let's look at the outward appearance at the back. So you see we have two very different camera modules here. They're both rectangular on the left-hand side of the phone, but the Redmi Note 10 uh, 
has a different setup from its 5G companion. The main sensor is a 48 megapixel one. Uh, it has phase detection autofocus. It's a pretty good camera for the price range, and this is under 150 pounds sterling. It then also has an eight megapixel ultra wide camera. In, and then it has two sticker cameras, which are a macro sensor, two megapixel, and a depth sensor, two megapixel. Whereas the Redmi Note 10 5G has a main sensor, it only has three, the main sensor is 48 megapixels, just the same in terms of resolution as the Redmi Note 10. And then it has the two sticker cameras, a two megapixel macro camera and a two megapixel depth camera. Uh, let us know in the comments if you'd like a side-by-side -side comparison of camera performance, where we share some images uh, of uh, taken with the two devices, and you can decide how how well one compares against the other. My personal experience with the Redmi Note 10 and the Redmi Note 10 5G is that the Redmi Note 10 does take better pictures. Whether that's software tuning or a significantly different lens and sensor setup in that 48 megapixel camera, I'm not sure. But what I can tell you is that in terms of focus, in, depth, in terms of color reproduction, the Redmi Note 10, in my experience, produces better pictures side by side with the Redmi Note 10 5G. Again, as I said earlier, please do leave a comment in the, se in the comment section if you'd like to see a side by side video comparison of the two cameras. So that's pretty much it as we go for the back cameras. Another key thing is that dodge that both phones have at the top the selfie cameras there uh, are very different as well in this case. So the Redmi Note 9, sorry, the Redmi Note 10, the standard model, has uh, a 13 megapixel selfie camera, whereas the Redmi Note 10 5G has an 8 megapixel selfie camera. Both of them are capable of 1080p video, and so if you're using a, a nice, if you're using a nice, uh, stabilization or you're using a tripod, they'll take good video, but beware, it, it can get quite shaky if you aren't. So as far as cameras and the outward side of things for both phones goes, we're in the same place. One thing to call out is that there is a slight difference in the port layout. So you can see that at the bottom you have the USB Type-C for charging and both support different standards of fast charging. We'll get into that later. And there's also the speaker grills, but you'll see that the Redmi Note 10 has its 3.5 millimeter audio jack on the bottom side of the device. That's a courage port if you regularly watch our videos. Whereas the Redmi Note 10 5G has its courage port at the top of the device. Both devices have infrared blasters at the top. And I have to say, uh, it is really good to have some phones nowadays that do keep giving us the courage board because it is a really useful feature to have, in my opinion. But we'll leave that for Juan, to Juan Carlos Bagnell to make uh, the case for the 3.5 millimeter audio jack going forward. So we've looked at cameras, physical layout. One of the key things both devices uh, differ in and this is a great differentiation, is the chipset they're running. So the computer chips that run the device are significantly different. So you'll see that on the left, the Redmi Note 10 has a Snapdragon 675 chipset. This is, in this case, an 11 nanometer process chipset with eight cores, and it's paired with a, an Adreno 612 graphics card. Now, it's not the newest of chipsets, but it's relatively recent. It's an 11 nanometer chipset. It's very efficient, but it differs significantly from the one we see on the Redmi Note 10 5G. So the key word here is 5G, as we said, and the Redmi Note 5G is not using a Qualcomm Snapdragon chipset. It's actually using a MediaTek chipset. So this is the MediaTek Dimensity 700 5G which is a newer chipset from MediaTek, 
which uses the seven nanometer process. So it's significantly smaller uh, for each transistor in the chipset, which means that it, it uses less power, it produces less heat for the same computing power output. And that's really quite a big difference in this context. The graphics card is also a Mali G57-1. Uh, in terms of day-to-day -day use of both phones, there's absolutely no difference. Most users wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the two. The only place you might notice a difference is in gaming. So if you were to play a high-end game like, for example, Call of Duty Mobile or PUBG, uh, that would make a difference in terms of its performance. But even pl playing games like Mobile Legends, will not make a difference here. Now, I purchased the Redmi Note 10 on AliExpress. In this case, I have the model with four gigabytes of RAM and uh, internal storage. The review device we were sent by Xiaomi for the Redmi Note 10 5G, in this case, has a little more in terms of, oh no, it's the same amount of RAM. Um, it's a little bit more storage in this case. So this is a 64 gigabyte model. The device we were sent by Xiaomi for the Redmi Note 10 5G is 128 gig storage. And both devices are expandable with micro SD. But the key takeaway is here, this is a Qualcomm chipset, which uh, is perfectly functional, does well. But in my experience, the Redmi Note 10 5G does have a more capable chipset when it comes to everyday use. And that 5G also gives you access to different networks. So that's really the, the key differences here. Qualcomm chipset, uh, only 4G capable, but for most people that's more than enough. And the, in this case, the Dimensity 700 chipset, which in my experience is slightly better. But the odd thing is that in the settings, when you go into the camera and you want to set video recording, the Redmi Note 10, the standard model with a Qualcomm chipset, is capable of recording video at 4K. Whereas, for some reason, the Dimensity 700 powered Redmi Note 10 5G is maxing out at 1080p. There's no 4K or Ultra HD mode. So, very interesting difference here. Uh, what the reasoning is, I'm doubting it's just the chipset, there must be more to it. Uh, so I'm thinking about the sensor setup for the camera. Remember, in my experience, the Redmi Note 10 in terms of the camera works better than the Redmi Note 10 5G, but that's just a, a minor difference. Since we're talking about minor differences, both devices have Bluetooth. The Redmi Note 10 has Bluetooth 5, whereas the Redmi Note 10 5G has Bluetooth 5.1. So with select accessories that have Bluetooth 5.1, there might be some better integration there. Now, another key thing is, uh, just looking at the quick settings here, is that the Redmi Note 10 5G has something that you do not find on the Redmi Note 10, and that's NFC. So the NFC is the technology that allows you to use your phone for payments, accessing public transit, quickly pairing with cameras, earphones, and so forth. So the Redmi Note 10 5G has NFC, which is great. I have used Android Pay on this device and it works perfectly well. Sadly, on the Redmi Note 10, you don't get that. Both devices do have FM radios. And if you're using the headphone jack, it works quite well. So Bear that in mind, if you don't want to use your phone or MP3s or streaming music, you do have access to FM radio. And one other key thing is they match each other in terms of battery size. Both devices have generous 5000 milliamp hour batteries, but there is a key difference in the way they charge and in my experience, how long which one, which one lasts. Uh, it, there's a difference battery duration in day-to-day -day use between the two. So the key takeaway is that the Redmi Note 10 with its Qualcomm chipset has Qualcomm fast charge. Not only that, it also supports uh, Xiaomi's own fast charging, which is 33 watts. So you can get from 50% battery 
you can get from empty, sorry, uh, you can get from empty to 50% battery in 25 minutes and a full charge in less than an hour and a half. So nothing less than 90 minutes. Whereas the MediaTek Dimensity powered Redmi Note 10 5G has the same 5000 milliamp hour battery, but it has a slower fast charging. It's an 18 watt fast charging, for, which for most people is more than enough. So it's on a par with the fast charging we see from uh, Google Pixel smartphones and others. So not really as fast as the Redmi Note 10, but uh, still a fast charging option. And in my experience, using both devices in an equivalent manner on a day-to-day -day basis, the Redmi Note 10 5G has better battery life. What the exact reason for this is, I have no idea. My gut feel is that the Redmi Note 10 5G with its MediaTek chipset is actually more efficient at using uh, less cores or less power whilst dealing with day-to-day -day tasks. But more importantly, in idle mode, when it's in your pocket, um, it handles that in a better manner. So key difference, MediaTek uh, on the Redmi Note 10 5G and Qualcomm chipset on the Redmi Note 10. I think that's the key takeaway, big difference there, and also big difference in terms of the camera setup. So um, this has been a relatively short side-by-side -side comparison between these two devices. Thank you for watching if you made it this far and congratulations to, the, to those of you who found the secret code to our Nokia giveaway, which ends tomorrow. If you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. If you have any further questions or would like to let us know your thoughts, there's the comment section below. Feel free to leave a uh, comment. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye from me.